Hey everyone, we're back at it with another Character Trash episode and it was another recraft that we did a video on as well. So if you want to check that full recraft video out, check it out in the link in the description down below. Otherwise, let's check these out. They're the Evening Star Boot Company for dancing. So let's dive down in. So Evening Star Boot Company, they've been making boots since 1995 apparently and uh, they do dance boots. So dance boots are going to be defined that they've got a suede sole for, to be able to slide around a little bit more freely. The heel can be debatable on whether it can be a leather, a suede, or a rubber depending on what type of purposes. This one has got a rubber heel on it, well it had it on there and that's what we put back on as well during the recraft. Uh, these are Goodyear welted and everything. The uppers on these are elk, and then the lowers on these, we couldn't quite figure it out. Um, the person that dropped them off, we remember saying that they may be bull hide or something like that, but it doesn't quite feel like it. So we don't know for sure, but they were a custom boot as well, which makes it a little bit questionable for me about as far as like the price levels, however. So we'll kind of get this out of the way, but the price levels, what I could find on their website is from 199 to 259 basically for a pair of boots, which for a pair of boots, that's a pretty good price. Now, if these are custom and they're still, even as a custom with the materials that are being used on it, are even like 400 or 500, that's still a pretty good price. So I'm not 100% sure this company seems to be smaller and everything like that, so they don't have, you know, crazy amount of information but they it looks like they've made boots for you know cheerleaders and stuff like that too i'm talking in the nfl and everything like that so you know they might be worth getting in contact with and checking out if you're needing dance boots especially you know that that might be a good company to check out but let's give them a quick rating as far as you know overall now this one's going to be hard just because at the same time we're kind of comparing these boots to normal dance boots and shoes and at the same time we have to compare it to also western boot shoes which technically are very different a lot of dance boots uh, boots and dance shoes these days are very cheaply made i mean extremely cheaply made and everything but at the same time even though these are dance boots they are also western boots so, and western boots there are some that are made very well out there so it's kind of hard to find that perfect balance between rating these as a western boot or as a dance shoe because they're kind of a weird one in other words that's in between so we'll start out with the material quality overall material quality is definitely very nice i love the leathers and stuff that that are on these i don't know what their regular ones on are like on their website especially at those price points for all i know they may be a synthetic upper you know and they just look like they're leather but these ones are definitely leather for sure and very good quality material for sure so i'm going to give these a full 10 just because the materials that they use are great good uh, leather welts on it uh, leather soles that are suede for dancing they they did use a good quality one as well which actually is right here and everything um, build quality is gonna be just a little bit questionable on these just because there were some small details on these that were a little questionable um, just because the way that they have the weld stitched on it looks like they may have kind of missed the materials and, and it was coming unstitched in a number of areas as well as it was sliced as well. So it was kind of a wonky one. If you want to check out the full recraft video, you'll see where I had to stitch the weld and it turns out those multiple spots that I had to work on as well outside of the video. Um, they, uh, they do have good leather heel bases on the, or I'm trying to remember. Yeah, they did have the good leather heel bases on these. They did use a plastic rand, which is this little top layer at the very top that's plastic, which is normal for Western boots. But the but the way they finished it out, they didn't even bother sanding out that plastic to give it some, you know, uh, some roughness so that the adhesives stick better and everything. They just kept it the way it was from the factory, which was 
kind of weird honestly um, so that was a little questionable uh, the interiors on them they are leather lined but they also use this cushioned footbed inside it's like a foam material and everything and so it's uh, a little questionable on that foam as well so I'm gonna have to probably bump these down as far as the build quality down to like a seven they're still good but they're not phenomenal so um, as far as now with the comfort uh, the comfort that's obviously always debatable but I would assume that these are definitely a little bit more on the comfortable side as far as being able to wear them because they've got that soft cushion inlay i mean we do look at it as being kind of frowned upon just because once that does wear out and the build quality and the material quality it's going to be very hard to replace or take care of but from the box brand new if you were to get them in and put them on they're definitely going to be a bit more comfortable just because of that softer cushioned insole that's in here and that's a full length insole meaning it goes all the way from from the front to the back and plus these have a lower heel majority of people out there prefer that lower heel for you know a little more stability and everything it's a little bit easier on their knees or backs and everything like that so um, for comfort uh, for a western boot we're probably going to yeah, or even for a dance boot as well, whether it's boot or the Western boot or a dance boot, the comfortability is definitely up there. I'll have to probably give them about a nine. Now support, however, obviously there isn't really a support built into it. There's no arch support or anything like that. Um, and there's no natural arch support uh, with the uh, with the heel being lower like this there really isn't too too much arch support and the heel isn't designed at a certain angle or anything like that so there really isn't any kind of support per se in here um so we'll probably drop that down to quite honestly about a four for support i mean there's still going to be some support features just because it's a little bit of a heel and stuff like that uh collectability um now collectability is going to be very hard and debatable because that's probably more in the uh, dance boot community versus the Western boot community. The Western boot community, these aren't really, you know, collectible type of piece at all. But in the dance community, they're probably a little bit more of a collectible piece. So I'll probably even it out at a at a five. We'll give them that, I guess. Uh, so it's in the middle, in other words. All right, and now so show off ability. Now that one, compared to some other boots that I've seen online, the men's category there aren't really much options and so there really isn't much to show off whether it's in the western boot or the dance boot category the women's there's a lot more options there's some interesting colors and stuff like whites and beiges and tans um you know so there may be some show off ability there now this particular boot however whether it's in the dance boot category or the western boot category definitely has a little bit more show off ability because of the color scheme on it and the uh, leather combinations and everything on it too so i mean you don't see too many boots that have an elk um, shaft on them either just because elk's material elk material or elk leather is usually very soft and you know supple and everything like that so they don't use it too much in boots in general so for this particular boot i'm not going to rate the other ones on it but this particular boot here the show off ability i'd probably give them about a an eight and a half then on that uh, maintenance um, there are other ones again because I don't know if they're a synthetic material for sure or leather from what I can see in the descriptions it definitely says that it's a leather but these ones maintenance it's gonna be fairly bare minimum that you need to do just a condition you know uh, clean up condition and waterproof if you need something more excessive though you need a little bit of experience with it or you have to take it to a professional um, to take care of it so maintenance will probably give that an eight on that recraftability these are definitely recraftable however um, there is a slight issue with that um, the fact that these are dance boots and uh, you definitely have to keep that in mind because there's still a dance boot you need to have a suede sole on there not a regular leather one unless you want to convert them from a dance boot to an everyday type of boot but um recraftability will kind of vary from one place to another not everyone's always going to stock suede leather for dance shoes or boots so that's going to be where the issue is and some some cobblers don't even bother ever ordering it because the dance sole material has to be ordered in large sheets we can't order just a single pair or just a small square of a sheet or something we have to order large sheets of it at a time basically so some cobblers will not do that they'll try to maybe upsell you on a regular uh, sole that's leather and say it works great 
it for dancing, which I've I've seen that happen. I have, but it's not it's not a dance sole at all. It's just a leather sole. So the recraftability, just because of that, I'll probably have to bump it down. Honestly, like a six and a half, just because a huge chunk of cobblers out there they just don't stock the suede material and that's that's the reason why i'm gonna have to bump it down overall the quality like the build on it it's it's fairly easy to recraft and stuff it's just the materials if you're keeping them a dance boot like they're intended to be that's going to be a little bit of an issue plus on top of that why it's also 6.5 is if that foam insole in there gives out that stuff is a nightmare to get out i mean we're gonna sit there and scrub and it's you know a tall boot with no zip or anything and trying to get in there with tools and scrape it out because that foam doesn't just peel off you have to sit there and scrape it out or grind it out or sand it out or something and so it's not a very not a very easy thing to do um and last one is price uh price obviously i would mentioned is about 200 bucks 260 bucks plus shipping and all that so under 300 dollars. i mean for a western boot that's fairly cheap for a dance boot that's kind of uh, moderate price in other words so i'm gonna give it about a low to medium price point um just just because it's a low price level for a western boot definitely a very low price point but for a dance boot or shoe it's kind of uh, mid-range i would say almost in other words so it's not too high up there but it's also not too low um overall cash or trash um Again, compare. I can't compare the other ones that you see on their website, but like these ones here, I would say are cash. There's just a few small odds and ends. The wealth is a little questionable for me about how they put it together and that heel rand and then plus the insoles. But for that price point, that's a really good price level. I mean, even if these are a custom one with all these materials and they were, say, let's say 350 or 400 bucks that's still a really good price level for these um even closer to 500 they're still pretty pretty good at that level now over 500 i probably wouldn't pay over 500 for these so from what i can tell as far as price levels i'll give these a cash on those for sure just just because everything kind of adds up you know even though they're not fully a western boot or a dance boot they're kind of like that perfect merging of both so it's hard to really say like if these were categorized as strictly just a dance boot um these are definitely a cash now if they were just a western boot if you're gonna wear them and not just for dancing well if you're gonna wear them as an everyday boot i would go with something else so uh, you know some something else close to that price level honestly so just because they're kind of in between i'll give them a cash but if they if you're going for these boots as your everyday type of wear boots not for dancing there there are better options that are going to be a little bit more durable for you i would say so cash for where we stand out with it if you're doing it as an everyday wear boot trash i'm sorry i wouldn't i wouldn't pay that kind of money for a dance boot definitely a cash though so hopefully um hopefully that was an interesting video on a brand that i've never even heard of until they came in and everything if you want to check out the full recraft video so you can see what's going on internally like underneath the soles and everything like that definitely check that out i'll leave the link in the description below but as always thank you for watching hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it subscribe and hit that notification bell icon to be notified when we have our next cash or trash episode out or recraft video or other videos too so that you can be notified when they're out we'll see you next time